Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about the transformer usage inside the Simulink. Although we will use any sort of transformer like a linear or non-linear, but hopefully it will fulfill your requirement for to step up or step down the voltages. So uh, first we have to go to the view and we have to click on the library browser option. Okay, here first we need to go to Simscape, then foundation library, okay, then electrical and then electrical sources. So here you will see some electrical sources so we will select ac voltage source so right click on it and click on eight block to model untitled okay this is our source now you can see that we have our source here uh, press control and plus plus button so that we can have a better visualization Okay, after putting this AC voltage source, again go to the library browser and write or, or don't write to search, just go to the Simscape electrical elements. And here you will see like uh, there is ideal transformer and mutual inductor, but we can also write like. Uh, transformer okay okay and we will got our nonlinear transformer and ideal transformer so we will click on nonlinear transformer and add it to the block okay now we have this nonlinear transformer now this is our primary side and right side is our secondary side so we need to connect it to the AC voltage, the bottom side also to the AC voltage. Then take the electrical reference as your ground. Again go to library browser and write here electrical reference. Okay, so take this one. Don't take this same RF ground. It is not going to work for you. So take this electrical reference and connect it like that. Okay, now our circuit on primary side is completed. Now we will come towards the secondary side. So on secondary side, we will measure the voltage. So we need to have one voltage sensor. So this is our Simscape voltage sensor. Right click on it and add block to model untitled. This is our voltage sensor. We need to connect positive side on one side of the transformer and negative side on the other side of the transformer. You can connect it inverted even if you like. Okay. So when when you want to measure the potential difference or voltage between the two points of any device just connect the positive side of the sensor with the positive and negative with the negative of that component okay now in order to measure the voltage signal this v out signal is actually for to give us a physical signal but uh, we, we, if we want to uh, use the phys physical signal, then we need a block. And that block is called as the PS2 Simulink. It is Simulink. PS, sorry, it is PS2 Simulink Converter. Okay. Okay, now 
okay now <coughs> the voltage sensed from the volt voltage sensor is fed to the physical signal to simulink converter then after it we will add our display just like this pan we will get our display this is our display okay so we can also add the scope as well if we want we can add it okay but no need we will okay now we will write here peak amplitude is 10 frequency is 60 hertz so we will apply the primary side okay you also need to do one thing that uh, connect the electrical reference the negative side of the output also to the electrical reference okay and then connect it like that okay so so you have the combined reference okay after it we need to go for the turns so primary is 100 secondary number of turns is 200 so ratio is 1 ratio 2 means that the voltage must be doubled more are the turns on the secondary side more is the voltage produced on the secondary side okay now we will run it and okay one more thing yeah i forgot that you also need to have one solver configuration block this is very necessary okay just take it and connect it with the electrical reference nothing uh, more is needed just connect it like that okay now i will run it now you can see that although our input voltage is 10 volts but we are getting although it is instantaneous you can see that simulation just run for 0.1 seconds okay so due to high resolution due to high resolution we are seeing these numbers like uh, changing okay in 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 physical world we cannot see 60 hertz signal it's like static we can see it like static and not moving at all but here as the resolution is high so so here you can see that yeah it's minus 19 is going to up to from 10 volt it is going to uh, 20 volt so it is doubled the negative sign is just showing the direction so hopefully now you can make a transformer circuit within your simulink so thanks for watching